Okay, so a little bit of a backstory before uh, the rest of the video um, plays. Um, when Hazel was really, really sick in the hospital, um, the very beginning parts of her battle with cancer, we asked her often what she wanted to do when she got out of the hospital, when she was feeling better. Um, we wanted to give her something to like hold on to and look forward to when things got really hard. And she would always say she wanted to go to the beach. She wanted to go to the beach and swim in the ocean and play in the sand and find seashells. Um, so we talked about it all the time. Um, the days that we didn't know how to get through them, we talked about going to the beach and um, her dream, really. So I don't know, maybe it was early September. I had the idea of a surprise trip to a beach for Christmas. Um, I didn't know if we would be able to, if she'd be cleared. I didn't know how we would afford it, but I was searching online for affordable places, affordable flights, and we literally found nothing that was within our budget. Um, so a few weeks later, one of my Instagram followers, uh, I've never met them before, uh, before this trip, um, messaged me and she's like, Hey, where would you want to go? And, um, I told her we didn't really care. Like we were just trying to find um, a beach that'd be warm that she can swim at. And I just thought that she was gonna give us suggestions. But lo and behold, uh, a few hours later, I received an email, a full itinerary, flights, um, resort, everything uh, for our entire family to go to a surprise trip. Um, we never told Hazel about it. We wanted it to remain a secret and a surprise. Um, so this video is our travel to our surprise location um, and how we told her. And then there'll be a, a follow-up video here within the next day or so um, of the actual trip. So I should also mention, um, everything literally like fell into place perfectly. Um, I She was cleared by three of her oncologists, so all of her oncologists cleared her. Um, our insurance covered the location that we were going to like 100% and that's because um, the hospital <clears throat> in that area, you guys will find out where we're going um, or where we went, it was, has like one of the top 10 cancer units in the entire world. So should or if anything did happen, we were covered 100%. So literally like, like the stars all completely aligned for us to go. It was incredible. Hold, hold on, one second. Hi, Santa. Well, hello, Hazel. How are you? Good. A little bit sure good. was you last Friday. That was really pretty special, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I've got a very busy schedule, and I've got to come early tonight. For a very special surprise. So, have you been good? Mm -hmm. okay. A teeny bit. Then I need you to go to bed tonight and get some rest. I've got a very special surprise for you. And don't forget to set me up some cookies. Can you do that? Yeah. All right, then, Hazel. I think you're very special. I hope you have a very merry Christmas. You too. You're welcome. Oh, oh. Who's that? Santa. Santa called me on the phone, so I got to get going, go to bed, and stuff. Why? When is he coming? Like right now! Santa's coming to town tonight? Oh my gosh. It's gonna be an early Christmas. Oh my Did he eat all of our cookies? The cookies? Oh my god. Can't check on my milk. What's that letter say? Oh, no, you read it. It says, Hazel, oh. you are going on a surprise oh. trip. <gasps> Hurry and get in the car. You don't want to miss your flight. Ho, 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 Santa. Can you read it says where we're going? So that's your bag, Hazel. Does it say where we're going? It says surprise trip. Is this mine? Yeah, your name was on it. Oh. Let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! I'll carry you, I'll carry you, I'll carry you. 
carry it. I'll carry it. Watch Are you out. excited? <laughs> we finally got um, all of us on the plane. Hi. Say hello. Hey. Santa brought Hazel some um, Play Doh in her bag and a few other goodies that we're not quite opening yet, but I've never flown with Violet and Hazel. So wish us luck. Oh, you can play Griffey. Hi. Hey, where are we going? Where are we going? We don't know. We don't know where we're going. To. Do you know? Do you know where we're going, Bella? Oh, is that where? Is that where? Tell us. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Okay, we are in Denver, so this is our first and only layover, and it's two hours, so it's not like crazy long, but Vila didn't sleep at all on the airplane. As a matter of fact, she did the opposite. It was more like, <laughs> it was more like, uh, well, I mean, the opposite of sleeping. I mean, you guys know what that would be. Not use your imagination, and whatever you're imagining, it's probably accurate. <laughs> we'll just say that. So let's see. Got her hanging out in there. <laughs> and I'm kind of hoping she stays awake for the next two hours and then she sleeps on the next flight, which I think is like a three to four hour flight. So, or longer. I think it's definitely longer actually. So that would be ideal, but I mean, you can never expect things with your infants, right? Especially at the airport. But Hazel did really good. Was the airplane okay? Yeah? She has to wear her mask in the airplane. She doesn't have to, but it's more like just like safety precautions because I just worry that somebody's sick in there and like the air is just circulating the airplane. So yeah, we just wanna make sure that she's gonna be okay and not really risk anything. <laughs> no, we got our first layover. Hazel, okay, so where are we going? You don't know where we're going? Do you know where we're going, Vila? Do you know where we're going? We don't know where we're going. saying on the airplane but Hazel got really sick on the plane just she had like excruciating pain and it was really scary and I felt kind of bad not I don't know it's just a hard situation to be put in when your kid who has cancer is in a ton of pain and there's nothing you can do for them and they're screaming and everybody around you is just looking at you so and her and she just felt so uncomfortable and um, thankfully the incredible family that um, paid for this trip was actually on that flight so they um, took Violet into their chairs on their laps and walked up and down the aisle with Violet and uh, gosh why don't why can't I ever do one of these without getting emotional they're just so amazing the people are so good um, but yeah so Noble and I were able to take care of Hazel she eventually fell asleep um, but yes we're good uh, now I'm just waiting for Noble and Hazel. They're in the bathroom right now. Um, I have Vila with me. Hi! Say hello! She's so tired. We woke up at like 3 o'clock. And I, we, Noble and I did. We woke the girls up at like 3.50. <gasps> there she is! Are you feeling better? You do? Yeah. Look! She's feeling better. What's up? Yes! We had a stool. <laughs> uh, we get excited about things like that. No, I haven't seen them, but now we're gonna go find my mom and dad. Hazel doesn't know, but they're here too. Oh, Grandpa is here. Border, border, oh. 
I guess she does know. Santa, and I never talked well, to you him. talked to him at the zoo. She's never talked to him on the phone, though. Oh, got you. We and, landed. And we have found my parents. And, um. Oh, there's story time. And, uh. And he, get, and he said, sign out cookies, but you got to go to bed right now. <laughs> at night. And then, and then, um. I set out the cookies really fast so he can come out really fast. Cause and then he came out, ate all the cookies, drank all the milk, and then poof, there was some bat. And See, there's some, one of those animals. Then, then there was um, <coughs> then there was uh, what kind of animal? toys in my like in my pa pack like and in suitcases. Mm-hmm. See, there's another little one over there. Where? So we've landed. Hazel, where are we? Those armadillos? No. Hazel, where, where are we? Armadillos. What country are we in? Mm-hmm. It starts with an M. What kind of animal is that? 